In this video, I'm going to give you a full overview of the Cherokee Gray Wolf Limited 26 DBH pull behind travel trailer. I'm going to go over all the specs. I'm going to give you full lengths, widths, weights. We're going to tour the inside. I'm going to show you all the features and details that come with this camper. By the end of the video, hopefully you can decide if this might be the next camper for you. Model number 26 DBH. It's made by Forest River in Elkhart, Indiana. So the exact width of the camper is 8 feet 1 inch. Physical length of just the camper, not including the bumper, is 28 feet and a quarter of an inch. The actual full length from rear bumper to the front of this tongue is 32 feet 7 inches. And the dry weight is 5,483 pounds. And this one is equipped with a dining room slide out. And the slide out dimensions are 30 inches out and exactly 12 feet long. And like most trailers this size, this is going to be a dual axle trailer. That's the basic specifications of this camper. So if you're thinking about storing it in a barn or a large garage, you know it's full length and you know the weight. So now you need to research what type of vehicle you're gonna pull it with. So now let's walk around the outside and check out the outside features. As I pan across, you can see that it has outdoor speakers. It also has an outdoor TV mount. And just to the right of that, there are several AC plugs. You can plug in lights outside if you want. And going to the right, down there towards the bottom, there's an outdoor shower. And you'll see the black door next to the main door. That is a outside refrigerator slash outside kitchen. It also has a two burner stove underneath it. And as I pan towards the front, there's just a storage unit all the way at the front of it. And there's a black uh, outlet for solar charging. And if we take a look at the tongue of the trailer, you'll see the battery box that powers the tongue jack. And then you'll see the propane housing. There's two propane tanks inside that plastic housing. And then of course you'll see the electric jack and the hitch. And down here from the front to the back, you'll see the hot water heater there on the bottom left. As I come across, you'll see the 12 foot slide out. This is gonna be your fresh water connection, your city water connection. It has another outdoor shower. You'll have your electrical plug-in, and then there's some storage underneath the bunks, and then you'll see the rear bunk windows. Here at the back of the camper, towards the top center, it's pre-wired for a backup camera. And if we come down here towards the bottom, it has a built-in utility rack. That utility rack can hold a lot of weight and a lot of material. So as you walk into the camper on the main front door, this is the layout. And then back there in that back bathroom, that's where that second door is. So as you walk into the camper from the front main door, if you turn to the right, that's going to be the master bedroom area. Now in the master bedroom, you have three lights. You have lots of storage. The bed lifts up for extra storage. And it also has sliding doors to close itself off. Here's the entertainment center. You have a fireplace at the bottom. You have some storage in the middle. You have a built-in DVD player and it comes with a 32 inch TV. Light out area, you have this two person sofa that pulls out into a bed. And then you have a U-shaped dinette and that folds down into another bed. Over here in the kitchen area, you have a couple storage drawers underneath the sink. You have the sink itself, and then coming up towards the top, you have more storage. To the left of that top storage cabinet are all your controls for the awning and all the lights and the hot water heater. Going over to the right, you have your microwave, your vent fan, oven and stove top, and then working our way down is the refrigerator. Next to the refrigerator, you have a full-size large pantry. You can store a lot of food and other items inside the pantry. As I pan to the right, I'll show you the bathroom there in the center in a second. And you'll come over here to the double queen bunk beds. 
you have a small little ladder right there and you have the air conditioning heat controls there on the right hand side. The bathroom at the back of the camper and there's that exterior door so you can walk right into the bathroom. You have a decent sized shower and there's the toilet. Pan up another feature on this is it has a skylight. Pan across the top of the ceiling. You'll see all the built-in lights. You'll see that this is ducted heat and AC. You'll see built-in speakers, the skylight, and then there's the air conditioner back at the center. So that's a basic overview of this 2018 Cherokee Gray Wolf Limited 26 DBH. If you're thinking about buying a camper, hopefully this video will help you out in that decision. I've almost had this camper a year and I'll be doing my yearly review where I give all the pros and cons of this camper at a later date. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.